problem. The population of clients continues to increase, but the number of officers remain the same. DYA spokesperson William Castro says the numbers are insufficient and without additional resources to adequately control and surveil the area, the community can expect more and more incidents at the youth correctional facility. The uh, governor and my director are thinking of finding ways to seek help from different agencies within the uh, public safety side and then different avenues to approach with the compact impact hopefully they can provide assistance budget-wise to you know, meet the need of our youth being detained. DYA currently has three facilities, the Delta Building for females holding around 15 girls at a time. The Echo and Foxtrot Buildings for males hold around 40. Castro says they only have enough manpower to have one guard per facility for a 12-hour shift. This means that one officer could be in control of more than 20 youths at a given time. This is exponentially higher than the required officer to client ratio, which Castro explains should be 11 to 1. Additionally, the DYA College Homes in Talafofo has 10 clients with one guard for males and one for females. Eventually, morale is not that great, but the director has approached them and spoke to them, and they're doing their best uh, to uh, meet their regular, regular schedule hours and come in when needed. The situation has gotten so bad that the department has even utilized cooks and maintenance workers to augment the shortage. With escapes and riots happening so frequently, residents like Ben Torres are wondering why elected leaders aren't doing more. Maybe uh, the legislature just got to, you know, get right down to it. Plain and simple, man. You know, it's just lack of employees, so find the funding, find the money and get this department the um, manpower they need it. Currently, DYA is training three new officers to help augment the manpower shortage the department faces today. However, given the officer to client ratio, this increase in employment will not be sufficient. Reporting from Manila for Guam's News Network, I'm Tana Tarpley.